Hi guys, it's December and all I want for Christmas is to finish 2020 feeling super strong and ready to tackle a new year. So we are kicking things off in this all I want for Christmas series with our bombshell butt routine. So all you will need is a ball or small cushion and a chair for a little bit of balance. If you are prepared to feel a super burn, go ahead and join me. We're not gonna waste any time with any of the workouts in this series, so pretty much we're just gonna get straight into it. So hopefully you've warmed up a little bit before. If not, go uh, like <laughs> run around in circles or something. Dance to your favorite song. I don't know, something like that, because we're gonna crack right on into it. So with a ball or a cushion, you're gonna start with that ball behind the left knee, okay? All of these moves, in this first portion are going to be one minute. So I'm going to be timing it. I've got my phone here with my timer on it. That ball is going to come behind the left knee. We've got a chair here for a bit of balance. I want you to hop back from your chair so we can have a flat back here. If that's really uncomfortable for your back, you can always come in a little closer. You'll just do a smaller angle there. Otherwise, you're going to come all the way back. I'm going to show you the first move and then we're all going to go for it. So using that chair for a bit of balance, flat back, pulling navel in, lifting up out of the supporting leg, you're going to just do a low glute lift there, keeping the ball in. Yeah, so get in position. We're gonna start in three, two, one. All right, so it's a lift and down. Exhale, lift, inhale, down. So by the end of this, relatively short workout, the glutes, are going to be burning. And one minute might not seem like a lot. Actually, maybe it does seem like a lot. <laughs> it could very well seem like a lot. When I thought of like one minute, I was like, that sounds like a lot, but um, cool, here we go. Cool, now that I've said it, we must do it. So nice big lift there, flexing the foot. Just keep that ball or cushion squeeze in tight. So we are working both, well, the active, as well as that supporting glute. Not too much more here. If the ball falls, just pick it up, go right where you left off, and keep it up. Little pulse, pulse. So just tiny lift of that leg. Again, keep squeezing the navel in tight. Keep hugging that ball in. Don't know about you, but I'm already feeling it. <laughs> so this is gonna be fun. But yeah, these workouts are going to be quick and dirty. I think that's the theme that we're going to go with for this All I Want For Christmas series. Cause we're busy, we don't have a huge amount of time, so we're just gonna make the most of a fairly quick workout. And then of course, as these come out, you could combine them or you can combine them with my other videos. So yeah, if 20 minutes, roughly 20 minutes we'll say, is not enough, you can always add on a little bit more here. Feeling good and shaky and then keep it up, squeeze heel to butt. So you're just squeezing in on that ball. Stay with me here. Oh, hello. So again, foot is flexing. Oh my God. <laughs> my butt is burning. I've done a lot of lower body this week. I'm just making excuses. I've done a lot of lower body this week though. And like, so I don't know why I was like, let's start off this series with glutes. I don't know. I really don't know, but it sounded like a good idea at the time. So here we are, all suffering together. Yeah, these are designed to hurt. A few more seconds here. Oh, I'm not excited about this. And do one more good, oh my God. Okay, well, if that wasn't enough, quick shake out. That ball's gonna go back behind the same knee. So left knee, here we go again. Um, we're gonna do an attitude lift. So you can stay facing your chair here. 
So you can start from a first position. Um, so heels together, toes turned up. You know what to do with the ball. <laughs> there it goes. So little number four here. We're gonna lift it to the back now. So go ahead and start. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Do you feel like it's a little bit harder to hold the ball in this position? But you know, do your best. Ball or cushion. And if you're just like really not having it, if you're like, this ball or cushion is truly making my life that much more miserable right now, just get rid of it. <laughs> just get rid of it. Do the workout without it. So keep chest nice and lifted here. Flat back, you don't wanna be like eh, swinging forward, although I did just pop my hip doing that and that felt pretty good. Not gonna lie, <laughs> navel in tight. As always, we're supporting from there. So try not to lean too much over your standing side. On this one, we are just straight up. Knee is angled open to the side. Few more seconds and keep it up and little tiny baby pulses. Nice and controlled. Keep drawing navel in. So while I've got you guys here, exciting stuff. I'm thinking by the time this video is live, we should be at 2,000 subscribers. Yay! So I know on like YouTube that's like relatively small potatoes, but I'm excited. I'm so excited for all, all 2,000 of you. So thank you for following, following along, doing the workouts. Um, and if you've been doing the workouts and have not subscribed, hit that button down below. It's super easy. If you have a Gmail account, it is all connected. Uh, Gmail rules everything. So you don't have to make a separate YouTube account. It'll just do it through your Gmail account. Super easy. So yeah, hit that subscribe button. It is helpful for me. Encourages me to keep making videos and keep it up. Flex the foot, squeeze in on that ball. So knee stays behind the level of hip. Just squeeze heel to butt. But yeah, as this crazy year comes to an end, so excited that you guys are here through it all. <laughs> so it's really helped just know that you guys are there doing the workouts. And of course, let me, let me know if you've enjoyed these with a comment down below. I love reading your comments. Um, it always, always makes my day when I get a comment. So yeah, comment away. Woo! Guess what? We're almost done with this set. That's the good news. That's the good news I've got for you. I know it feels like it starts to get quite difficult to control. Just do your best. Ball is like the most killer tool. And I'm not gonna lie to you, the amount that we're doing with the ball behind the knee, um, chances are good that you're gonna be feeling this tomorrow or even the next day. Last one there. Woo, release. Usually when I do like ball behind the knee, I get that kind of like crampy hamstring for a couple of days, so hey. That's what's happening. Okay, so I'm gonna flip around here. Come over to my nice, ah, beautiful poinsettia. Mm, gonna block it, sad times. Okay, <laughs> and we'll do the second side. So, mm, make sure you're ready here. Ball comes behind the right knee. You know the setup now. Hippity hop it back. If you wanna go really crazy here. And we're gonna start in three, two, one. So lift and lower. I think it's gonna feel good to be on a fresh side for probably about 15 seconds. <laughs> we'll see. I'm gonna see when I hit 15 seconds. I'm gonna be like, yeah. Now it feels a little bit less good. There's our 15. Yeah, first, you know, first few seconds, I was like, oh, that feels fresh. And then I remember that I'm on my non-dominant side. I've learned nothing. Things I have not learned in 2020, start on your non-dominant side. Next year. Big exhale on each of those lifts. To be fair, both sides are working in this. I just don't particularly love supporting with my non-dominant in the second go around. Keep the next one lifted and pulse, pulse. 
keep lengthening through that supporting hip, squeeze the glute tight, keep pulsing there, ay ay ay. <laughs> so yeah, my vision is to have four workouts in this series, so we'll get a little bit of everything. The next one is going to be abs, um, and then we'll finish it up with legs and arms. So we're getting everything. So if you wanted, you could finish, say on like Christmas morning. <laughs> no, that's crazy. You could finish it sometime around Christmas doing all four of them back to back to back to back. Um, yeah. I don't know. If you're feeling crazy, you know, do it, do what you need to do. But yeah, they are also designed to just be short routines done in their own. Last one there, squeezing on that ball. Why this one? Why? I don't know. Again, sometimes I write these things down and actually it's really good. So if you are kind of like creating your own workouts, a good technique is to write it down. If you're one of those people who like, once it's written, you're like, okay, this is horrible, but I'm gonna do it. That's kind of what happens here. I'm like, well, it's been written. So even though I regret writing this kind of, I think we're all, after it's all over, we're gonna be like, okay, we did it. We pushed through, keep that knee lift as high as you can. I know I'm struggling. I'm struggling too. But I'll tell you what, butt is gonna be looking good. Entering 2021, hello. Last one there, and whoo, release. Quick shake out there. Oh my God. So we just have to make it through this little attitude series, and then we're down to the floor. So, you know, 20 minutes, I feel like you can kind of like do anything for 20 minutes, right? <laughs> that's, that's the idea we're going with. So back to that first position, ball behind the knee. There we go, I don't know what that sound effect was. And we're gonna start in three, two, one. So attitude lift and in. So again, keeping nice and tall here through the torso. Knees angle out to the side, squeeze that ball tight. And keep it going. Are we excited for December? <laughs> I feel like most people I know are pretty excited for December. <sighs> I like it. It is maybe one of my favorite months. I don't know. I do typically like the summer because I don't do so well in cold, but I'm also noticing as I get older, <laughs> I'm doing a little bit better with cold and not quite as well with heat. Um, so also it helps having heating. Um, this is the first apartment that we've been in, in Madrid, where we have heating. I know that sounds crazy, because like, I mean, it gets cold in Madrid. Keep it up and pulse. But yeah, what a difference that makes. It is so cozy in here. To be fair, like, because we didn't have heating for a long time, we like abuse the heating a little bit. So I mean, we keep it pretty warm in here. Um, but it's nice. It's really cozy. Like when I get home at night, it's so nice. It's so nice. I mean, yeah, once we get a gas bill, that might change, but still, I think I said this like in the last video, uh, <laughs> have yet to receive a gas bill. So till then, I'm just like, yay, cozy time. So great. Woo. Keep pulsing. Keep pulsing. We're finishing out this standing series nice and strong. Yes, we can. We're almost there. <laughs> I feel that ball sliding. <clears throat> Grip it tighter and keep it up. Flex the foot. Squeeze heel to butt. Keep that knee back behind the line of the hip. Squeeze your standing glute as tight as you can. Last little standing push here. Also, this is the last thing we're doing with the ball. So I know you're like, curse this ball. Why is the ball the work of Satan? I don't know, it just is. But it's so good. It's also good if you have sensitive knees because it strengthens everything around the knees. So good for you guys. 
really good if you're a runner. <laughs> Have I included everybody yet? I don't know. Basically, I'm saying like make make peace with the ball. I know it's like nobody's favorite tool. It's not the one that we want to like reach for first, but make peace. Oh my god. Can we burn it out this much in 20 minutes? Yes, we can. Here's three, two, one. Ha! And done. Good. Does that feel good to be done with those? Yes, it does. Goodbye, ball. You can, like, whatever. You know what? Go. Just go. It's coming back at me. <laughs> Can't ever really escape it. All right. The chair can go off away as well. And we're going to come down to the floor. So real quickly here, <laughs> why not take a child's pose, hey? So let's do knees uh, wide, feet together, sit the butt all the way back, nice little child's pose. Give the butt a little wiggle out. Oh. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to come all the way face forward. So I'm going to be proactive here. If you're on a thinner mat, and um, you think it might be a little irritating to have the hips like grinding against the floor, put a little fold on your hip bone. I can't even find where my hips are going here. <laughs> so yeah, give yourself a little padding. A rolled up towel, I suppose, would work as well. You don't want to be lifted too high there, though. Okay, so from there, you're gonna stack the hands. You can rest chin or forehead on hands. Forehead's a little bit better for the angle of the neck. But if you don't want to like put your face on the floor, fair enough, you can do the chin. Feet are going to be about shoulder to mat distance apart. We're just going to do a double leg lift here. So extend long through the tips of the toes, lock out the knees, there's no motion from the knees, and we're just going to lift and lower. So inhale on your exhale, lift, inhale, lower, exhale, lift, inhale, lower. So now we're just bringing the glutes together. Getting a little bit of lower back as well. I'm not properly on top of that flap. <laughs> this is why I usually don't even bother putting a flap under because I never manage to actually like line up on it somehow. Here's two, and I want you to stay lift down one. Flex the feet, you're gonna curl, heels come together. Exhale, extend, so legs are just floating. Inhale, curl. Exhale, push all the way along through the heels. So that's a full extension, not through the toes, not through the balls of the feet, but through the heels. So we're really activating the backs of the legs. And give me five, four, three, two, one. Bring the feet down, give it a little, little shaky shank out. And then final thing there, we're going to just combine those two things. So we'll lift, curl, extend, lower, yeah? So just the last two things we did. Um, so we'll change from pointed toes to a flex foot because I find that on the lift, the pointed toes work a little better for finding the length. So we'll, we'll just switch to a flex. Easy enough, good for the ankles. Okay, good for the feet. So legs reaching long, toes pointed. Inhale, on your exhale, lift, now flex, we curl, extend, point, lower, yeah? Point, flex, curl, out, down, and keep it going. Whee! Keep it going, we got four more here. And then we're gonna flip around and finish this out. Here's two. And one. Whoop, whoop, good. Hands on our shoulders, push back to a child's pose again there. Oh, nice little stretch for the lower back as well. And we're gonna finish this out. So flip around, come down onto your back. Knees are just gonna be bent in front. Whoop, there we go. Oh, this is like the, like what hairstyle do you do when you're lying on your back? Such a dilemma. I always have like a little bun or something and it's like, 
weird. Anyway, <laughs> comment down below. Let me know what you do there. Um, so feet hip distance apart, knees hip distance apart. Everything's trapped in line. Hands by side. Inhale on your exhale. Squeeze the butt as tight as you can. Inhale, touch back down. Let's go festive here. So your butt is a nutcracker. Put a nut in your butt. Crack it at the top. That's how hard you are squeezing your glutes with this lift. So navel stays tight. We're not going for a big lift up where we're arching the back. So it's not a yogic bridge. It is a nice controlled Pilates bridge with the big squeeze of the butt. Give me four more here. Relax the shoulders. Oh, my stomach's starting to growl. <laughs> I hope you can't hear it. I don't think the, I don't think the camera is gonna pick it up. Last one here. And bring it down. Take the feet a little bit closer together. We're going to add a march just with the right leg. So every time butt comes up, right knee is also gonna come up with it. So inhale. On your exhale, we lift butt, knee comes in, we touch heel, we touch butt. Same side again. So exhale, lift, inhale, touch. So it's a big squeeze of the left glute. Abs are working as well. It's hard to ever, you know, completely avoid the abs. And why would we want to, really? And here's four, three, two, get ready to stay up on one. It's press, press. Stay there, big squeeze that left glute. You're going to exhale, extend, push through the heel. Inhale, tuck in. Exhale, push. Inhale, tuck. Keeping hips even. Navel in tight. Here's four, three, two. Keep it long on one. Point the toes. Straight lift and lower. Lift and lower. We're still high in that bridge. Here's four, three, two. We're going to keep it up at the top on one and pulse for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Bring the butt all the way down. We're going to repeat that opposite side. So butt is going to lift. Left knee is also going to come up with it. So inhale and exhale. We march. We touch. See now these? <laughs> now that we're back to these ends, doesn't seem so bad. Fresh side. And go for three, two, stay up on one, and we push through that left heel. Inhale, tuck in. Exhale, push. Inhale, tuck in. My hips are very chatty today. <laughs> Again, I don't think you're gonna be able to hear how chatty my hips are, but they are. Here's three, two, Keep it long on one, point the toes, exhale, lift, inhale, lower. These are so hard after all of that standing work we did, but uh, gotta be done. Final burnout. We are burning it out. Here's four, three, two, keep it up on one, and we pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring left foot down. Do not drop the hips though. So feet are back to hip distance. You are extending long line of energy pew, through the kneecaps. Squeeze the butt tight. We're gonna pulse it here. So from the navel up, nothing's moving. It's really just the butt that's doing the work. So it's not gonna be like a motion like that with everything. It's just gonna be a little release. Squeeze, release, squeeze. So really, really tiny, quick relax, squeeze, hold, quick relax, squeeze, hold. 
That's where we want to find that pulse so that we're really, really engaging the butt. That was the idea, right? That's what we're here for today. So, you know, if you didn't come to work the butt, what are you doing? What are you doing? Give me eight. Four, three, two, let's hold it on one. Yes, because we can for five, four, three, two, one. Uh, release, there we go. Windshield wipe the knees side to side. We're just gonna do quick stretch here. If you want a slightly longer stretch, um, take a look back in time to last Christmas, I posted a silent night stretch routine. So that one's a little bit longer. Nice for like those chaotic days when you just need to relax, um, but it's good for the end of the workout as well. But right here, we're gonna cross right ankle over left knee, flex that right foot, right knee is pushing away from you. Grab behind either left thigh or the left shin, push the tailbone down there. So again, you don't wanna be there. You're gonna press down flat back, shoulders are down as well. Squeeze it in tight, hello. That's the stuff. And go ahead, release, we'll switch sides. So flexing left foot, pushing the left knee out away from you, grab behind right thigh or around the right shin. Remember to breathe during these. Sometimes we, uh, we forget that. And release. Hug both knees in. Take a little rock here. Woo! Forward and back. Ah, there we go. That's it. That's it. So like I said, this is basically just kind of the like heart of the workout. If you want to do some more stretching, I recommend um, checking out one of my stretching specific routines. And then of course you can always pair this with another workout as well. And just like double down on glutes. In any case, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button to see the rest of the videos in this All I Want For Christmas series. Hit that like if you enjoyed this first one. And of course, leave me a comment. So let me know if you've been with me since the start of this journey. Um, let me know if you're a new subscriber, anything like that. And I will see you guys back here for the next one. Bye.